Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life, and I wanted to show you what I made with the paper's Distressed Damask from Ink and Page Journals. And I'll pop a link to Ink and Page Journals below this video. Please do check out her Etsy shop. And I absolutely, I discovered her about, you know, two months ago. I already made one journal with her papers and I'm on her design team now. And, um, I absolutely love her papers. Now, her papers do have quite bold colours, um, which is why I also chose for this velvet green material to go on the cover. So if you like green, this journal is for you. It is for sale. <laughs> so anyway, let me just show you. There is one image of a lady in the kit, which is this lady. And I decided to put that on the front of this journal. So as if to say that, you know, this is her journal, maybe, you know, little story. Now, I got lots of dangles here. These are glass beads. They are quite large glass beads, which I actually got from a necklace. And then on the cover is a green and white doily that I had in my stash which a smaller doily that I cut out of a larger kind of tablecloth doily this is like um, a seal stamp which I actually made with hot glue kind of a new try out but it's quite nice I it's a rose and I went over it with some gold wax this is another crocheted uh, flower that I had in my stash and some beautiful trim, a green rose, and this is another vintage trim. And just to protect the corners, I put on these gold metal bits. I also, they're also on the back here. And then and this is the inside. Now this is a belly band, and all these papers that you see here are from the kit, from the Distress Damask kit. And these are two tags. Here, put a little piece of bling on there. This is an embossed piece of paper, which I absolutely love. I embossed that myself. These are some little stamps that are in the kit as well. And these go back in here. And then, like here, this is what I mean. The, the colors are quite, sometimes they're quite dark and strong, but they're bold colors. But I just absolutely love it. And I had this paper doily in my stash, which I thought it just stands out really nice against this dark background. Now, this may be a bit hard to write on, but of course you can put pictures on here, you know, and whatnot. And even, you know, glue a piece of paper if you want to write on that. This again is another little stamp from the stash, uh, from the paper kit. These are papers from the kit. So these are some lighter papers you know they're combined you know with the um the grid on there i put some very pretty and large trim on the side of it this is all from the kit beautiful flowers i just really really like the way she does it this is a little bit of um a paper um, um how do you call it? Well, some folded paper that I glued on there. And that's from uh, the inside of a book that I had. And I put on some of these beautiful kind of creamy. Uh, it's not really yellow. It's more like a cream flowers on there. This is a beautiful piece of material. Again, from my stash. that I thought went well with uh, the green that, you know, you see on most of the page pages. Here some... Um, keys with roses and butterflies and little bees in there this is what i stamped this is a piece of a book paper again this is the script that i got from a book and this paper is what i used for this kind of little um, well whatever you call it paper ribbon this is again from the kit i just love it you know she has this beautiful kind of edging going around the pages as well which makes it really pop here again is the lady that's used on the front. Here she's in colour. This is more like softer colours in here. And here a vintage button on a piece of doily. This is the middle of the first signature. There is about, I think, about 76 pages in here front and back. And I again, I used the green embroidery thread to make to bind it together and again these beautiful beads you can see here that are from a necklace 
beautiful flowers on these pages. Lots of writing space as well in here. Again, you can put a picture or any kind of image on there. This is from the kit, but this is from my own stash, a little journal card. And here, this was like um, a double um, tag. And I made like a corner hugger, I think you call it. Again, with the little cream flowers on there. And a little bit of this material that I had left over from this green page. So it's just the material here that I used for that. So let me show you that page and then a corner hugger. You can put anywhere you like, basically, in the journal. This is the other side of that beautiful fabric. More of that beautiful paper. And I used a Martha Stewart punch to make this pretty edging. Here again, lots of writing spades, a darker page again. And this is another kind of a double tag that I made a side page hugger out of. And I, I always print on two sides, so, you know, you can write on this, but I don't like it when it's just plain white, you know. you got this beautiful kit and then just plain white, so I, I prefer, you know, using a paper. This is also a paper from the kit. And here I put some paper flowers on there with some little green flat back pearls. Oh, and let me show you this page. Very pretty as well. Again, it's all beautifully framed, her designs. And this is the other. This side is a bit lighter. Again, the page with some kind of gate here. And this, oh, don't you love it? It's absolutely stunning. Now, this is the last page of the first signature. This is the beginning of the second signature. There's some writing space in here. Here I put another of these wax seal. Well, it's not a wax seal stamp. It's a seal stamp, but made out of hot glue. And I hope you can see that. It has a little um, kind of vintage uh, key on there. And here another pocket that I made out of one of the, the images from the kit. This is again from my own stash and this is from the kit. Again with a paper flower on there. And just look at this page. Don't you love that? So, so beautiful. She makes me love, you know, it's Debbie from Ink and Page Journal. She makes me love all sorts of colours that I normally would never craft with, like blue and green. And I absolutely love it. I'm more of a pink kind of girl, but I absolutely love this. Now, this is like a, a little file folder. And I have these two tags from the kit in there. Again, printed on the back so you can write on there. And this is a little envelope that I made out of some avocado dyed papers. This again is a label from the kit. And then you can fold it over. It's a full sized A4 piece of paper that I avocado dyed myself. And dried it on the oven so you can kind of see, I hope your camera picks that up, like the grid that I had it on to dry. Then you fold this in and you tuck this behind it like so oh, I think I had it in like that now this page actually is a handkerchief that I got in a charity shop and somebody crocheted around it I did not do that myself but I absolutely love it so I made like a pocket page in there and of course you can pin images to this if you like and here's more space to write again with the pretty punch that I use from Martha Stewart. This is a, a top tuck spot with two more labels from the kit. Some music paper. I always like vintage music paper. This is again the beautiful paper from the kit with some cream rickrack. Here. This again is like a darker blue around it and this kind of cluster you can kind of see comes back here. So I try, always try to combine pages that I really like together. And these as well. It's just gorgeous. Just look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Love that image. While I'm normally not a blue kind of person, I absolutely love this. So thank you, Debbie, for making me like other colors than just pink. <laughs> now, this is a double pocket 
This comes in the kit as well. This pocket and these tags are also from the kit. So this goes behind it over here and this goes inside of the pocket. And then this, since this is also again quite a dark page, you can put a picture on here, but I decided to add some pieces of a coffee dyed paper. And this is a handmade paper and you can just take this out and put it anywhere in the journal that you like. So that's kind of an extra piece of paper there. Again, this is the middle of the second signature with some more of the glass beads on here. And here some rickrack and some little green bows, which I think are very cute. Another trim, these beautiful butterfly. This is kind of another cluster that I made again of some of that green fabric from that um, fabric page that I've just shown you. And this is a little bit of the trim that I also used here on the front cover. This is the now the piece of the large doily. It's cute birds. Some more music paper and one of the stamps. This is another tuck spot with two more tags. And just a little piece of bling here. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. This is the other side of the handkerchief that's been crocheted around. Now there is a G on there. If you want to buy this and you know your name is not with G, you don't like it, just you know, take it out or leave it as you wish. Now this pocket has quite a few things in there. Two tags from the kit. This is a hand um, a hand dyed, coffee dyed piece of A4 paper that I stamped on to make it kind of like look like an envelope with the I stamped on with this feather kind of a feather stamp and I fold it in like an old fashioned vintage way. So this again is a full sized A4 piece of paper. And it's a bit grungy and I crinkled it up so that you can, of course, you know, it's quite smooth, smooth enough to write on. And you just pop it in here like so and then you just push it together. And then this is again a beautiful card from the kit. So that goes all in this pocket. Then again, these cute little birds here on this page. Beautiful, the key and the flowers. This again is a little bit left over from the fabric page that I made. Gorgeous frame here. Another tuck spot. This is from my stash. This is from the kit. And these are from the kit as well. And this is the last page and again a belly band from the kit and there's again several things in here this is a different file folder from the kit with two more pretty tags printed on both sides this is another gorgeous postcard and this is some handmade paper not handmade by me but I thought it would look really nice. Just a little bit of extra piece of paper to journal on and I stamped on it with this pretty flower stamp. And again, here you can see the beautifully embossed paper. And then here's my little tag made with love by Lens Crafty Life. So there you go. I hope you like this video, uh, the video, well, maybe the video as well, but especially the journal. If you're interested in buying it, there's a link to my Etsy shop uh, to this journal below this video. So please check that out. I also have old um, vintage and antique French uh, fashion magazines and lingerie magazines in my Etsy shop, which are absolutely beautiful. But do check out Debbie and um, in her Etsy shop ink and page journals and again via the link that's below this video with this kit uh, distressed damasked okay thanks for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye